This is Reformation and Revival Now, and I'd like to invite you once more to our Love for Muslims prayer vigil. This is our prayer tool. My name is Kevin Jones, and I want to encourage you and engage you in intercession for Muslim people around the world, but particularly in this 1040 window, which is two-thirds Muslim. When you're praying into it, know that you're affecting two-thirds of it, which will be Muslim people. So anyway, I hope that that will encourage you to engage with us, make an investment. Now we're going to start in our main prophecy, which is Isaiah 19, 19 to 25. This is the basis for everything that we're doing, okay, concerning uh, this whole assignment. This is our anchor passage. Then besides that, I also have uh, spiritual warfare scriptures or scriptures that tell you your rights and privileges to be able to pray against demon forces because we're coming against ISIS, Hezbollah, and all sorts of trickeries and all sorts of things that Satan does to try to stop the harvest. And then we have our spotlight nation. Our spotlight nation is just when we take one Muslim nation a day and we begin to lift them, lift them up. So anyway, this is our foundation. And right now, let's go ahead and get into prayer. Let's pray right now for revival and harvest in the Middle East. Father, right now, Lord God, we stand together by faith and that your good word would be fulfilled, Lord, in Isaiah 19, 19 to 25. Father, bring a powerful awakening in Egypt, right in the midst of the trials, Lord God, that they're facing. Father, let there be a mighty revelation of Jesus Christ and that you would reveal yourself to the Egyptians, Lord God, as Savior and Deliverer. Lord, cause them to have a revelation of you, to be convicted about their spiritual condition and see their need for Christ. And though, Lord God, you will allow calamity to hit them, yet, Lord Jesus, you will heal them and they will worship you and they will keep that which they promised, Lord God. And as you pour out your spirit across their land, their monuments, Lord Jesus, as, law, as well, Lord Jesus, across their borders, Lord, we believe right now that you are touching, Lord, also the Assyrian overlay nations, Lord. You're touching, Lord God, Saudi Arabia, Jordan. We speak life to Iran and Iraq, where salvation has already sprung up, to Syria and Lebanon and Turkey, as well as Greece. Pour out your spirit, Lord of the harvest, we ask, according to this prophecy, Lord, that you would build a highway there, Lord God, that you would bless the relationships between, Lord God, Egypt and these over Assyrian overlay nations, Lord. And finally, Lord God, we pray for Israel. That Israel will be a part of this alliance and that Israel will be awakened out of her spiritual darkness, that the light of the glorious gospel would penetrate every portion of Israel and Israel will come to that saving knowledge so that these three nations, Lord God, Assyria, Lord Jesus, Egypt, and, and Israel, Lord God, would all be one together, worshiping the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our spotlight nation for today is Kosovo. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that you are now calling, Lord God, your sheep right now. Through the apostles you have sent, through the prophets you have sent, through the evangelists you have sent. Lord, you are also revealing yourself to the people of Kosovo, Lord God, through the fulfillment of your word, that which, Lord God, you confirm to the patriarchs, Lord Jesus, that the nation of Kosovo might glorify your name, Lord, and might worship you for your mercy. So Lord of the harvest, Lord, we ask you to continue to empower your servants into the harvest so that Lord God, when the people of Kosovo receive Jesus Christ, they will be able to rejoice with all of your people and worship and laud you, Lord God, as the son of, as the root of Jesse rises to reign over the people of Kosovo as the gospel goes forth in power, being found of them, Lord Jesus, that ask not for you, Lord. 
and revealing yourself, Lord Jesus, to many in Kosovo, not called by your name. Knowing that, Lord Jesus, you are faithful, Lord Jesus, to send servants anointed by the Lord for this purpose. Now, ISIS, we come against you. We come against all the evil force, forces of terrorism. Satan, we overcome you by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Jesus is Lord over you. And by that, Satan, we bind you in Jesus' name. We take down your activity. You will not succeed. In the name of Jesus, we pull down every argument, every stronghold, every mindset over the nation of Kosovo. We take it down in the name of Jesus. We break that antichrist spirit, Lord God. We come against it, Lord Jesus, and we break its influence over the government right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Satan, you're dead. We pronounce an end to your plans for Kosovo. And we, Lord God, release God's plan by faith in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord Jesus, we praise you right now, Lord God, that doors are opening up. Lord, let these doors open up, Lord God, for pastors in Kosovo. Lord, we ask for a blessing in the government. Let the government, Lord God, be infiltrated with the gospel of Jesus Christ and the spirit of righteousness. Hallelujah. My time has slipped away from me, but join us tomorrow on our Love for Muslims prayer vigil. Bye-bye.